Hello, everyone. Welcome to Therapeutic Yoga Class today. Today's focus is going to be entirely focusing on hip flexors. Now, we have several of them, four big ones, and we are going to be targeting all of those muscles through our class today. But we're going to start with doing just a gentle little warm up to increase some blood flow and get those muscles a little bit more moving before we start to really lengthen and find good alignment in those muscles. So here's what you're going to need for class today. You're going to need a bolster. We're going to do some stuff in kneeling as well as sitting on that bolster once we get down to our yoga mat. You're going to need a yoga strap once we get down to the floor. And we're going to begin with a chair. So I would have your chair set up so that the high back of the chair is next to you so that you've got it for support, support of balance, and your body is about an arm distance away from your chair. Now, let's find ourselves in, in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So feet hip distance apart. Once you've got yourself there, go ahead and pick those toes up, shift the weight into the balls of the toes, and shift weight back into the heels, and keep moving back and forth, heels to toes, until you kind of oscillate and find yourself smack dab in the middle right at the arch of your feet. Weight into both the front and the bottom and the back of your foot. Then spread those toes, lower those toes all the way down onto your yoga mat. Go to your knees and allow yourself to fully extend or tighten your knees and then relax your knees and relax those leg bones into a vertical position. No tension on the back of the hamstrings. Take your hands up to your pelvis. Allow yourself to go through tucking and tilting your pelvis as you go through that. You get an idea of how tense and tight your back is today and your hip flexors. So allow yourself just to go through tucking and tilting until you find about the middle position uh, between your tuck and your tilt and then allow yourself just to settle your tailbone down and relax through there. Now, left hand onto the chest bone, right hand onto the belly. Take a nice deep inhale, lift the rib cage nice and high. Hold your breath there, look down, find your feet as you realign your rib cage, and then as you exhale, just let that rib cage drop down. Now soften your belly, make sure your muscles aren't too firm and holding yourself in a position that's not that good for your alignment. And then take your right hand on top of your left hand, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin, and get that beautiful stretch to the front of your neck. Then once you've got that, gently drop your arms down beside you. Allow yourself to shrug your shoulders um, slightly towards your ears. Rotate your arms all the way back. Thumbs to the back of you. Shoulder blades, pull them back and down. And then soften through your arms. Okay, Tadasana, mountain pose. Check in with yourself. You should feel weight into the ball of your feet. So if all the weight's gone into your heel, go ahead and realign yourself through your feet. Okay, let's see if we can do some nice, good diaphragmatic breathing here before we start moving. So just gently close your eyes, take your tongue rest to the roof of your mouth. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into your belly. Exhaling out. And one more time, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Awesome, open up those eyes. Take your left hand, rest it onto your chair. Let's begin warming up through our right hip flexors here. So take a nice deep inhale, lift your knee nice and high up to your chest, point your toes up towards your head as well. Hold your leg into that position for a second. So hold around your knee. Let yourself get steady into that position. And then when you feel like you're ready, toes up, allow your hand to let go of your leg. Now you're already warming up your hip flexors, just holding that knee up to your chest. But now let's get a little bit warm up, more of it. So take your right hand, place it onto your right thigh. Slowly start to push your hand a little bit into your thigh. Feel that you're using all of those hip flexors to hold your leg nice and steady. Now keep it there, take a deep inhale into your belly. Exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Okay, you should already feel some burning in your hip flexors. Now here's what I want you to do before you end. Take your hand, place it onto your pelvis. Make sure that your pelvis stays nice and stable. Strictly go to your ankle and here's what you're going to do. Take an inhale, turn your ankle inward. Take an exhale, turn your ankle outward. Two more times, inhale, turn that ankle in. 
Exhale, turn that ankle out. Are you getting any burning there yet? Inhale, turn that ankle in. And exhale, turn that ankle out. Beautiful, lower that leg to the ground. Now, why do we need to do rotation if we're working on hip flexors? Well, we've got four hip flexors, two that attach the inside of our leg and two that attach one straight down the leg and one to the outside. So they have different functions outside of hip flexion. So we wanna make sure we warm them completely up. Okay, now, before we move on to warming up our left hip, we're gonna do a really nice good stretch for the outside hip flexor called your tensor fascia lata. It is the primary muscle responsible for IT band syndrome. So those of you that have pain on the outside of the knee, this is what you wanna be doing to really open up through that outside hip flexor. So keep your left hand on the chair, place your left foot somewhere approximately a foot or so away from your chair. Now with your right leg, Take an inhale, lift it out to the side. Then as you exhale, bring it all the way behind the left leg. So how far you get behind is completely a matter of how tight that muscle is, okay? Once you have yourself there, check in that your pelvis isn't rotated to the right because that just means you're really tight through the hip flexors. Allow yourself to rotate your pelvis back so that it is in line with the side of your yoga mat. Now take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under and shift your hip out to the right side. You should feel a nice, beautiful stretch to the outside of your hip here. Okay, relax, shoulders lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into that belly. And exhaling out, beautiful, unshear that pelvis, uncross that leg, take your body and turn it towards the chair. Now, staying with your hands on the chair, left foot facing directly towards the chair, take an inhale, shift your weight to your left leg. As you exhale, step your right leg back a little bit. Now, I want it to be about a foot and a half to two feet back. So don't step far enough back that you feel like you're in a deep lunge. We're just gonna do a very, Gentle opening of the hip flexors and standing before we shift over to the left hip flexors. So in this position, allow yourself to hold on to the chair with your left hand, right hand, bring it up to the pelvis. Now, allow yourself to gently bend your right knee. How much do you bend your right knee? Well, it's a matter of how far back your foot is. But try to bend your right knee so that your hip and your knee are stacked one on top of the other. Left knee is just gently bent, holding your body support. In this position now, take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under and bend your knee a little bit more. All right, if you feel a good stretch in the front of your hip, you're in a good place. If you feel nothing in the front of your hip, step your foot back a little bit more, tuck a little bit more, bend a little bit more, and I promise you will get that stretch. Hold yourself here in this high lunge, nice deep inhale into your belly. Exhaling out. And one more time, nice deep inhale into that belly, high lunge, modification of crescent pose and exhaling out. Good job. As you inhale, step your right foot forward, exhale, stay there and standing. Okay, just take your chair, simply rotate your chair to the opposite side of your yoga mat so that we can do all of that with our left hip flexors. So start in your Tadasana pose, have your arm about our, uh, on the chair about arm distance away. Once you feel like you've got all of that, allow yourself to inhale and weight shift onto the right leg as you exhale, bring your left knee up to your chest. Now, as you bring your left knee up to your chest, hold it for a second, point those toes up. As you point those toes up, it speaks a little bit more to your core muscles. So it's nice to have your core firing here with your hip flexors. Now, slowly begin to let go of your knee, keep your knee into that high knee to chest position and then take your hand and rest it onto the top of your thigh. All right, you choose how much resistance you're using to warm up those hip flexors today. Hold yourself right there, relax through your shoulders, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin, take a deep inhale in. Exhaling out, are they burning yet? Slow, deep inhale in. And exhaling out, beautiful. Now let the hand go from the knee, keep the knee up to shoulder height, take the left hand, place it onto the pelvis. All right, so here's the motion we're doing. Take an inhale, rotate the foot inward. As you exhale, rotate the foot 
outward two more times. Inhale, foot goes in. Exhale, foot goes out. And one more time. Inhale, rotate inward. Exhale, rotate outward. Beautiful. Lower that foot down to the floor. Feel that nice little burning that you've already got as you warmed up those muscles. Now, keep yourself right where you are through your right leg. Hold on to the chair with your right hand. Left leg, take that inhale out to the side of you. And then as you exhale, step that leg back and behind you. So the left leg is crossed behind the right leg. Now, check in with your pelvis. If your pelvis has rotated to the left, rotate that pelvis right to the side of your yoga mat again. Okay, nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, shear your hip out to the left side. You should feel that through the outside of your left hip. Tensor, fascia lata, hip flexor is what you're focusing on there. Let's do two deep breaths. Nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Oh, wonderful. As you inhale, weight shift. As you exhale, uncross that leg. Okay, turn towards the chair for me now. As you turn towards the chair, right foot is still facing directly forward. Then take an inhale, shift onto your right leg. As you exhale, step your left leg back a little bit, foot and a half, two feet. In this position, right knee stays bent. bent. Allow yourself now to bend the left knee so that the left knee is directly underneath the left hip. Hand up onto the pelvis, take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under. Now, if you feel something through the front of your hip, you're in a good position. If you don't feel anything through the front of your hip, step your leg back further, bend your knee more, tuck your tailbone more until you feel that stretch. Once you have that stretch, you're in a high lunge modification of crescent pose. Let's take two deep breaths here. So nice, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Beautiful. As you inhale, straighten through that right leg. As you exhale, step the left leg forward. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. You can stay where you are, or you can turn your chair back around to the opposite side of your yoga mat. And then I want you to take your bolster and I want you to lay your bolster down approximately a foot or so away from your chair. Once you get yourself into that position, face towards your chair, feet hip distance apart, hands fully supported on that chair. Now, allow yourself to take an inhale, shift your weight onto your left leg, as you exhale, step the right foot up and over the bolster. So it's just like we just did in a high lunge, but now we're gonna take it lower. So in this position, take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, slowly lower the right knee down onto the bolster. Now your chair is strictly for balance here, so how much you use it is completely up to you, but I want you to make sure that your right hip and knee are perfectly stacked one on top of the other. Right toes, you can keep them turned under, or you can flatten your toes onto your yoga mat if you like. Left leg, have it anywhere you feel comfortable for balance, just to make sure that your ankle and your foot are in front of your knee or in alignment with your knee. Okay, now take that pelvis, rotate it straight forward. Take a nice deep inhale in, and then as you exhale, tuck that tailbone under again. You've got it. Okay, so you'll feel this more than you likely did in high lunge. Keep that tailbone tucked nice and tight. Take a deep inhale into your belly. Then exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly. Then exhaling out. All right, now stay in that tailbone tuck. Stay in that low lunge with the knee supported by the bolster. Take your right arm out to the side of your body. Nice deep inhale, lift the arm high, and then as you exhale, side bend over. And as you side bend over, let that hip shear out to the side and add the other hip flexors to it. Okay, tuck the tailbone, side bend to the left. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out, 
slow, deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Beautiful. Inhale, lifting the arm up, exhaling, relaxing the arm down. Now, here's what I simply want you to do. Hold on to the chair with two hands. Simply bring your left knee back onto the bolster. Shift your weight onto the left leg and then step your right leg forward. Repeating it all over just on the opposite side. So number one, check in that your hip on the left leg is directly in line with the knee. So one is stacked on top of the other. Toes can be turned under or toes can be straight, whichever feels comfortable for you. Walk that right leg into a comfortable position, but make sure that the knee is in line or behind the ankle and the toes. Left hand onto the pelvis here. Check in that the pelvis is pointed straight forward. Then nice deep inhale in. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under as much as you can. Feel that stretch to the front of the left hip. Hold it right here. All right, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Okay, so keep the tailbone tucked under. Let's add a side bend of our body and a shear of our pelvis here. So left arm out to the side of your body. Take an inhale, lift it up as you exhale. Side bend to the right, shift your hip to the left. Keep that tailbone tucked under. Feel those hip flexors lengthening. Take a deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. Tuck, tuck, tuck. One more breath, nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Beautiful. As you inhale, bring the left arm up. As you exhale, lower it down. Okay, so we're getting rid of the chair. What I would recommend you do is just gently come down onto your right knee on your bolster. Move your chair out of your way. And as you move yourself out of the chair out of the way, just walk yourself onto hands and knees pose. So bolster is somewhere, somewhere in the center of your yoga mat. Knees are behind. Toes line up. Wrists are in front of the bolster and line up with your shoulders. Now check in at your index fingers point forward, thumbs, spread them in nice and wide here. Allow yourself to find that tabletop position. Lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly here. Let your belly sink, but let your spine stay stable. And then as you exhale, really pull that belly up and in. Keep your spine nice and stable. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, let your belly sink. Then as you exhale, pull that belly up and in. Keep your spine nice and stable. Okay, three cat cows here. So as you inhale, let the belly sink. Let the tailbone lift. Let the chest start to lengthen the neck gaze up. Now squeeze through those shoulder blades. Then as you exhale, pull the abdomen in. Tuck the tailbone under. Spread through the shoulder blades. Drop the head, chin to chest, gaze into the belly button. Two more times here. Inhale. Sink that belly, lift that tailbone. Now squeeze the shoulder blades, lengthen through the chest and the neck, gently gaze up. As you exhale, pull that abdomen under, tuck that tailbone, really spread through those shoulder blades, drop your chin to your chest, gaze to your belly button. One final time, inhaling, sinking the belly, lifting the tailbone up, really squeezing through those shoulder blades, lengthening through the chest, neck, gazing up gently. And exhaling, abdomen, pull it in, tuck the tailbone under, curl that rib cage, drop that head, chin to chest, gaze to your belly button. Okay, stay in your cat pose. And just gently walk your hands up onto your bolster. Tuck a little bit more here. Keep tucking, tucking, tucking as you sit yourself back. And then very slowly drop the crown of your head down onto your bolster. Now, as you drop the crown of your head on the bolster, just let your elbows settle. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. Nice, slow, deep inhale into the belly. And then exhaling out. Beautiful. Gently bring yourself up onto your knees. Allow yourself to straddle your bolster. Now, we are doing a modification of king pigeon today. So why would we be working on king pigeon? 
because of one of our hip flexors called our rectus femoris. So I am going to give you very many options to do what we're going to be working on today. But first and foremost, check in that you're straddling your bolster. Your left leg is in front of the bolster. The right leg is behind the bolster. Now, we're going to be focusing on opening up through the right hip flexors here. So yes, you're going to be feeling stretching and opening through your left hip rotators and gluteals, but that is not our key focus for today. Now, before we do anything else, what I want you to do is grab your yoga strap and I want you to make a lasso with your yoga strap because we all have different flexibility levels. Some of us may not be able to easily grab our ankle with our hand. So this makes your arm a little bit longer. So just simply take your yoga strap and lasso it. And as you lasso your yoga strap, what you're then going to do is place it around the right arch of your foot. So again, it just allows you to make a longer right arm. That's the whole purpose of this if you've got really tight flexibility issues with your hip flexor, specifically the rectus femoris. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to feel that your left sit bone, left sit bone is in the center of your bolster. Once you have your left sit bone in the center of your bolster and your ankle or the arch of your foot is lassoed, gently place your arms on the floor in front of your bolster. Now, we're not getting into any specifics of the stretch that you feel in your left hip right now because it's really all about our hip flexors today. So now what I want you to do is I want you to try to rotate your right hip pointer down into the bolster. For some of you, that might be as deep and as far as you get in this stretch. Once you get yourself that you feel that your right pelvis and that hip pointer are all the way down into that bolster, now you're ready to play with stretching that hip flexor that's called the rectus femoris, a play or modification of king pigeon. So here's what I want you to do. Take that yoga strap and place it up and over your right shoulder. Now, in this position, gently start to bend the right knee. You will only be able to go so far before you feel the tension in your thigh. Now, as you pulled your leg up, if your pelvis rotated open, give yourself some grace and let go of your leg and get the pelvis back straight. Wherever you get your ankle to today, that is where you're meant to be. Now, here's what I want you to do. Once you've got yourself in this modification of King Pigeon, I want you to take a nice deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, try to tuck your tailbone under a little bit. Yeah, that would be your rectus femoris, a very tight hip flexor for a lot of us. Hold yourself right there. Lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin, maybe gaze down where your hand in the strap is. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. And slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Now, just gently let the knee straighten as you let go of the strap. Take your right toes, turn them under. Hands are still holding you and supporting you onto the yoga mat. Take a nice deep inhale here and see if you can fully straighten that right knee, really opening up through the front of that hip. No specific hip flexor focusing on here, just hip extension in general. So keep yourself right there. Maybe spread a little bit through your shoulder blades, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Keep that knee nice and straight. Use those quadriceps, guys. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. And one more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Gently soften the right knee. And gently bring yourself back up into straddle position on your yoga bolster. Okay, so. Undo your right foot, 
Once you've undone your right foot, gently allow yourself just to slowly rotate. So now it's the right hip pointer that's on the bolster. So all you've done is shifted your body 180 degrees to the opposite side of your yoga mat. Different hip pointer is touching or a different uh, sit bone is touching a different point on the bolster right now. So find that lasso again of your yoga strap and then tie up the left arch of your foot. Lay the strap straight out just like you did on the right side. Make sure that you feel like your sit bone on the right side is approximately at that midpoint of your bolster. And then once you've got yourself there, reach the hands forward onto the floor. Now, as you reach the hands forward onto the floor, start to lengthen the left leg behind you. Your goal is to get the left hip pointer, the front of your hip to be in alignment and contact with your bolster. So position yourself so that you can get yourself there. Then once you're there, guys, take that strap and bring it up and over your left shoulder. You are ready to play with modification of king pigeon pose. So take the strap, slowly start to bend up that left knee. Again, if you feel that your pelvis starts to open, you pulled your knee too far, give yourself some grace and let that knee bend a little bit. Wherever you get your knee to, allow yourself to check in that the left pelvis, the hip pointer is still on the bolster. Then take a nice deep inhale and as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under and feel that opening through the front of the left hip. Now, push up through the shoulder blades, lengthen through the neck, settle through the chin, gaze down, take a deep inhale into the front of that left hip. And exhaling out. One more time here, nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Wonderful, slowly release the strap, let the left leg straighten. Now, keep yourself right here. Let's engage through this quadruple quadriceps and really get some good length in the front of that left hip. So turn the left toes under, take an inhale and really straighten through that left leg. Hold your knee as straight as you could get it. Push up through your shoulder blades, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Two breaths here. Nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly. And then as you exhale, soften that left knee down. Slowly bring yourself back up into a bolster straddle. Release the yoga strap away from your left foot. You are done with it. You can just move it off to the side. And then allow yourself, it does not matter which side you go to, but allow yourself to slide off the bolster and then move the bolster up your yoga mat a little tiny bit and then rest yourself so that the bolster is just above your pelvis. So what the bolster is actually doing is supporting your lumbar spine from being an end range extension. So in this position, you're finding yourself in a modification of sphinx pose. So once you've got yourself here in your modification of Sphinx pose, nice, good passive hip extension happening. Gently push up through your shoulder blades so that you've got your elbows stacked directly underneath your shoulders and your trunk is engaged. Lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. All right, so give yourself just a settle of your tailbone, tuck your tailbone, settle it downward a little bit. We're gonna focus on our right leg first. So just retraining all of that length that we already just got. So in this position, you're gonna be bending your knee on your inhalation. So right leg, take an inhale, bend your knee towards heel to buttock as close as you can. Then as you exhale, straighten the leg out and then turn the toes under. Stick with the right leg, take an inhale, lift the knee now, straighten through the leg. And then as you exhale, relax it back down. Back to bending. Inhale, bend through the right leg. Exhale, straighten through the leg. 
Turn the toes under, lift that knee nice and high. One more time. Inhale, bend through the knee. Exhale, toes under, straighten through the knee. And slowly relax. All right, let's do those three times on the left side. So lumbar spine is nice and protected. Going to be working on bending the knee and straightening the knee on the left side. So take an inhale, bend through the knee. As you exhale, turn the toes under and straighten through the knee. Feel that fascial stretch to the front of your hip there. Drop the knee, inhale, bend through the knee. Exhale, toes turn under, straighten through the knee. One more breath, drop the knee, inhale, bend through the knee. Turn the toes under, exhale, straighten and lift through that knee. Beautiful, slowly lowering the knee down, slowly dropping the bottom of your foot down. Now, gently allow yourself to bring your elbows up onto your bolster. Take a nice deep inhale in and as you exhale, Nice, good, strong abdominals and arms. Push yourself back into a child's pose. As you push yourself back into a child's pose, sit those heels and those sit bones together, chest down onto the knees, soften the elbows, and drop the crown of the head to your floor here. Take a nice, deep inhale into your belly. And then exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly. And then exhaling out. Excellent. Gently bring yourselves up onto your knees for hands and knees, just long enough to push the bolster out of the way. Lay yourself down onto your left or right side and then roll yourself over onto your back. Okay, so <clears throat> we've done lots to open up through all of those hip flexors. We're just going to spend a little bit of time on a muscle that has a little bit of a hip flexion activity and oftentimes gets tight. So we are going to do a figure four stretch here. So one of the muscles of your front of your hip is called your sartorius. And it kind of runs on a diagonal of your hip. So it's not a really strong hip flexor, but it sometimes can cause a lot of problems to the hip and knee. So we're gonna play with our figure four stretch here. So take your right ankle and bring it up and over your left knee. And then once you've got yourself into that position, take a nice deep inhale and pull your left knee towards your chest. And then take your hands and bring them to the underside of your left thigh. Now, allow yourself in this position. If you need a strap to hold your left leg, just grab that strap and hold your left leg there. Then right elbow, unless you're using a strap and then it can be right hand, starts to push into that right knee and leg bone. Push out with that right elbow or right hand as much as you can and you're getting a stretch to that muscle that we're interested in. And take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, maybe you can pull your left knee in a little bit more or push your right knee out a little bit more. Okay, check in that your pelvis is nice and square and settled onto your yoga mat. Lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Take a deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. And then gently resting the left foot down onto the floor, uncrossing the right leg, repeating it all over on the opposite side. So left ankle up onto the right knee. Now take a nice deep inhale, pull that knee up into your chest. And then as you're exhaling, take the hands and get to the underside of that right knee. Now, if you cannot reach that, this is where a yoga strap is good. So you can hold the strap rather than being able to interlace your hands behind that right knee. Now get your left elbow onto the left thigh or use your left hand against the left knee. You pick which one you want to do. In this position, gently pushing out into that left knee. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, pull the right knee in a little bit further, but really push the left knee away from you. 
Now lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Slowly lower the right foot down onto the floor, uncross the legs. As soon as you've got your legs uncrossed, walk your feet to the edges of your mat. Let's go through some windshield wipers here just to get some nice good rotation happening through our hip joints. So take a nice deep inhale and as you exhale, let your knees fall towards the right. As you inhale, bring the knees back upright and as you exhale, let your knees fall towards the left. Two more times on each side here. Inhaling up to the center, exhaling to the right. Inhaling up to the center and exhaling to the left. Finally, inhaling up to the center, exhaling to the right and inhaling up to the center and exhaling to the left. Beautiful, inhale those legs back up to the center and then walk your feet back into hip distance. Once you have your feet into hip distance, take a nice deep inhale, right knee into your chest. And as you exhale, pull your knee nice and tight and snug into your chest. Then with your left leg, take an inhale, kick that leg straight up into the air. And as you exhale, lower that left leg down onto the floor. All right, go back to your right leg and your right knee for a second, take a deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, pull and snug that knee nice and tight into your chest. So you're doing a beautiful job of folding, folding through your right hip flexors right now. Now let's do a little bit more lengthening and create space through our left hip flexors. So simply take an inhale and push your left leg down into the floor. And then as you exhale, relax it completely. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, push the left leg down into the floor. As you exhale, relax it completely. And then finally, inhale, push that left leg down into the floor. And then exhale and relax it completely. Then on the inhale, slide your left leg up. On the exhale, relax your right foot to the floor. All right, left leg. Take an inhale, pull the left knee into your chest. As you exhale, pull it in a little deeper. Now with that right leg, take an inhale, kick that leg straight as you exhale, lower that right leg straight down onto your yoga mat. Okay, go back to the left knee for a second. Take a nice deep inhale in. Then as you exhale, pull that knee nice and snug into your chest. All right, so now we're gonna work on creating that pushing motion with your right leg while at the same time you're doing a really good job of folding through your left hip flexors here. Okay, so focus on the right leg, please. Take an inhale, push the right leg down into the floor. As you exhale, relax. Two more times, inhale, push that right leg down. And then as you exhale, relax. And then finally, inhale, push that right leg down. And then as you exhale, relax. Beautiful, slowly slide the right leg up on the inhale, and then on the exhale, drop your left leg to the floor. All right, just a few pelvic tilts here. So allow yourself to rest your hands onto your pelvis. Relax through your shoulder blades, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Feet are flat onto the yoga mat. Imagine a clock sitting on top of your pelvis. We're gonna be working at six o'clock and at 12 o'clock. So gently take an inhale, arch your low back, allow your pelvis to go to six o'clock. And then as you exhale, flatten your low back, lift that tailbone up and create that 12 o'clock position. Two more times, inhale, move all the way down to six o'clock. Exhale, all the way up to 12 o'clock. Inhale, move all the way down to six o'clock. And finally, exhale all the way up to 12 o'clock. Beautiful, slowly resting your pelvis in the center. 
sliding your left leg straight down the yoga mat, taking your right foot and placing it onto your left thigh. Left hand reaches for the right knee, right hand out to the side of your body. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, start to pull that right knee to the left, feel that pelvis lift and then the low back and then the rib cage. Right shoulder blade stays engaged onto your yoga mat, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin and take your gaze to the right. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly here. And exhaling out. Gently unrotate your head to the center. Start at your right shoulder blade and slowly derotate the rib cage and the pelvis. I mean, low back in the pelvis and then place the right foot onto the floor. Then slide the left leg up, slide the right leg down. Left foot onto the right thigh, right hand to the left knee, left hand out to the side of the body. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, spinal twist as the left knee goes to the right, the pelvis lifts, the low back lifts, the rib cage lifts. Left shoulder blade stays onto the yoga mat, lengthen through your neck, settle turn through your chin and gently turn your gaze to the left. A nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. And gently unrotate the head. Starting at that left shoulder blade, derotating that rib cage, then the low back, then the pelvis. Placing the left foot down onto the yoga mat, sliding the right leg up. One leg at a time, bringing your knees to your chest, hugging your knees to your chest nice and tight. Maybe a little rock and roll through your pelvis and your low back muscles. Take a nice deep inhale in and an exhale out. Slow, deep inhale in and exhale out. And then when you feel like you're ready, gently place the right foot down onto the floor, followed by the left. And slide each of the legs down one time at one at a time to the corners of your yoga mat. Check in that your spine is in a nice, comfortable, pain-free, neutral position. Shoulder blades are rolled underneath you, arms are resting out beside you, lengthen through your neck, settle through your chin. Rest the tongue to the roof of the mouth, gently close your eyes. Take a nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. And just take a quick moment to let your breath be natural. Just be aware and feel your breath, either in your throat, your chest, your chest, your belly, or your nostrils. Know when you're inhaling. Know when you're exhaling. Maybe you even say that to yourself. I'm inhaling and exhaling. Just give yourself a few seconds to be aware of your breath. Then when you're ready, slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and do some circles with your wrists and your ankles. And then sliding one leg up followed by the other, slowly bending your elbows and letting yourself roll to your left or your right side. Rest there just for a moment. A couple of breaths maybe, but they're natural breaths. And then when you feel like you're ready, on an exhalation, bottom elbow, top hand, push yourself up to a seated position. Find yourself in easy pose. Place your hands to the center of your heart. And put a nice big smile on your face. Take a deep inhale in and exhaling out. 
Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Thank you for joining me today.